Here he is, the owner of four famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one and the only Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it. The knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot to finish it. Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145 I've ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide. Introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Ready. All right, here we go. Mixed martial arts royalty on both sides. Former UFC featherweight champion Jose Aldo, former two division champion Conor McGregor. First meeting lasted all of 13 seconds. Jose Aldo has worked himself back up. How do you think he approaches the ring? Of course he did. He is a king. The king of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, will take a different approach. He will make sure that he is guarded, make Conor McGregor fight him, over a long fight, which is where he has excelled over the course of his career. Just misses with the straight right. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's gonna work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you wanna fight behind him. Three punch. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, his opponent looked a little bit, trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny 
he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Andre Pedroneros talked a lot about Aldo getting back to that weapon. He's got to like what he's seeing out of Jose tonight. He is getting lit up. His face already has a big old cut on the side. Oh, good block there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Oh, lands another hook. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Aldo's eye is closing up. Oh, that's going to soften him up massively to the bottom. Hook to the head there by Aldo. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Tried with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appeared. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again, nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch up. Late in the round here, DC, and Conor McGregor doing what he does best, really having his way on the feet. Yeah, you know, it's always the striking. He's the type of guy that can really dictate and control a fight with his hands and all of his striking, with his striking abilities. And that's exactly what he's doing tonight, and because of it, he's winning. Strong kick there. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Oh, that's a big connection there from McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landing for Ireland's favorite son, Tyler McGregor. Beautiful high kick there. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Shane. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks, and he's taking full advantage of it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. There's the kick. Ten seconds. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. What a fight so far. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. All right, here we go with our second round now. Conor McGregor and Jose Alba. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll. Oh, the accuracy will land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Gregor's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. <laughs> Misses with the right hand. Aldo's eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbit. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Lands a shot to the leg. Back and forth we go. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. That kick blocked by Aldo. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Under two minutes to go in the round. Hook to the head by Alba. Oh, man. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Great job mixing. The, the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut. That was a big check. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Well, it's not going to be fun walking tomorrow. Would you look at the bruise on the outside of his thigh? That is looking awful now. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. I mean, I think this is it. If he takes many more of these kicks, his night is going to be over. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. All right, All right round three right. coming up next. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. 
What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, and the high kick lands. Aldo gets caught by the inside leg kick. by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Whiffs on that offering. Big shot lands for both guys. McGregor's nose. Oh. He got him hurt bad here. <laughs> McGregor getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Not much behind the takedown offering there. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, man, that calf is going to be so sore for weeks. Another flush shot. I think we might get a stoppage here soon. A stoppage by leg kick. We don't see him very often. We've seen Edson Barbosa have one before. We felt like Ankalaev was right on the verge against Jan Bohovic. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Beautiful job getting those hands up. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Aldo's really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. Oh, nice knee. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, big left. Always busy here with the clinch, lands a nice punch there. McGregor's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, oh he's stuck bad. He's got to grab it. He's got to grab it. Went for the inside leg kick. Effective jab there by McGregor. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Missed with that attempt. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh! He's got to start going down. Aldo's in half guard. Oh, right into Mount. 
Oh, nice. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. Oh, McGregor's back in format. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep the half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over, but the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. There's a solid kick right there. the right hand there. Oh, another debilitating kick to the leg. I mean, can you say, what the Are you going to be the guy that gets stopped by the kicks? I'm a verbal attack. Beautiful spinning kick lands. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice high kick. Push kick there to the body. Short uppercut of the clinch by McGregor. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing. One more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big right hand. Right oh, big knee to the body. All right, pausing the action here, and if the referee calls for the doctor, this could very well be the end of the fight, given all that swelling around the eye. It could be, and rightfully so. His eye is swollen shut. He cannot see his opponent. He's flailing at him. Can't find his target anymore. Looks as though the doctor is going to allow the fight to continue for the athlete. May want to raise the guard a little bit. He's got to raise the guard. He's got to take some chances because he's very limited in what he can do right now with that much swelling. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The ref is... Gregor's being very intentional with his strikes here, targeting that eye that is already swollen on the opposition. Good straight hand there by Alden. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Keeps going back. Oh! Trying to recover here. Aldo going for the leg kick. He misses. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aldo. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent is hurting for sure. He's hurting really bad right now. And every single time a shot lands up top, you can see the damage that it's inflicted. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots to the head anymore. Great. That's it. Oh, he got
So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritize the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. We set it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. You're playing the winner by TKO, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, so there it is, Jose Aldo, your winner tonight by TKO. And this really dovetails with everything he said all week. He felt like he was on a different level and proved as much tonight. He said he's never felt better. Yeah. And that's a scary proposition for the division. If Jose Aldo is feeling better today, but this is a guy that understands how to finish a fight. He got his opponent hurt, referee stepped in, saved his opponent, in my opinion, and Jose wins again by TKO.